All right, Coach, another series sweep for the Knights as you win 2-1 to one in their close game this weekend. Your overall thoughts? We bottom-lined it, you know, so I think that I think that's good. I mean, we bottom-lined it and found a way to get it done and, and uh, you know, obviously get, get, some one run, you know, get another one-run win, which is important. Um, so I think we bottom-lined it. We need to get a lot better in a lot of areas. This, to me, the story of the day was Brian Atkins. Brian um, has responded tremendously his last three outings. I feel like Brian is back. You know, I mean, he was just, you know, early in the year, he's, you know, he's up in the zone a little bit, but, you know, I tell you what, man, I love that guy. I know what he's going to get. He competes like crazy, throws strikes, and, you know, he has done awesome. I took him out there five innings. Obviously, that's all we need, 75 pitches on short rest because obviously he threw on Tuesday, so that was the plan all along. So Brian did a great job, you know, and I, I feel very good about it. And obviously our bullpen did a good job, again, to, to hold everybody in check. You know, we need to get better offensively, I'll tell you that. You know, we, we got to start swinging the bats a little bit better. Um, we need to make some adjustments there. But obviously, you know, we bottom line that we got three wins, but we got a long way to go. We need to get better. We need to get better offensively, to be quite honest with you. You know, that, uh, that should be a, a, a strength of our team with a lot of veteran players. We need to just keep working and getting better. And I know we will, but we need to get better. You brought in Matulis in the sixth inning. Was that just to get him an inning in here for this weekend? No, no, that's a good question. I mean, Matulis can do a lot of things for us. You know, he started, he's coming out of the pen, he's done different things. So as I kind of looked at it, you know, I was really going to just try to committee the last part, you know what I mean, the end of the game there is what I was really hoping to do. I knew, you know, Joe was going to be able to go more than one. I knew Roman was maybe give us two at the most, but I wasn't going to extend it to anybody. So I was kind of working backwards a little bit, uh, you know, between Matulis and if Jimmy Reed got in there. But Chris got in there, and that was perfect. Just get him an inning out, and he'll be ready to, to help us in the middle of this week. Who are you thinking of starting against Miami? Not sure yet. Sure. I mean, I, I, it's, you know, I, I got a pretty good idea, but I'm going to see how it goes tomorrow with, with a bullpen and how some guys respond a little bit. But uh, we only got, we've only got one midweek game, obviously. So uh, because of that, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Brian able to keep that uh, that fastball down, but he also mixed in that changeup really well today. Talk about his his off speeds really helping him out there, get guys out, aren't they? Well, I mean, you know, Brian's not an overpowering guy. He's a command guy. He's got to throw strikes, and you know, he's got uh, he's got several pitches obviously uh, that he's able to throw for strikes. When he's down the zone, he's very good. Nick Carrillo, real hot this weekend. Talk about his performance. Yeah, Nick's starting to swing the bat, kind of like we thought, you know, and. Um, uh, you know, when, when we signed Nick, you know, I flew out to Arizona to see him. And uh, I remember watching him take batting practice, and, and, and I thought, okay, I knew we were going to lose some power this year uh, with Griffin gone. So I needed somebody, you know, to pick up some a little bit of offensive, you know, home run power, to be quite honest with you. And obviously, you know, he didn't have a home run today, but he's starting to drive the ball, and uh, he's doing a good job. So hopefully this is the start of a, of a pretty good streak for Nick to continue to go on. I mean, he's a very confident player, you know, and he's had a lot of success from a junior college he was at and here, and now he's just got to kind of find his groove and find his rhythm, and uh, hopefully it's the start of something special for him. Talk about the decision to move Ronnie down to the number nine side. Obviously paid off with that double that. Yeah. Double. Well, 